Hey everyone, I know I said I wouldn't use my microphone in videos anymore to hide my voice, but I don't really care. It's a voice. Yeah. So today we're doing Project Zomboid tier list on negative and positive traits. I have uh, the other one up here too, just in case. Um, I will do Project Zomboid videos in the future if I really can be bothered, or if I can find something to play with or a good mod pack to play on. But yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we'll start with Sunday Driver, which I'll put at a... Um, uh, I'll put a meh. It's not the worst in the world. It's definitely not the worst in the world. Uh, all thumbs. Also a meh. It's like if you're starving for points. Slow reader is three points, unless if you're on multiplayer, then I'd put it down in decent, depending on um how fast the server read speed is. Clumsy, it's manageable, because it is very bad if you're doing like a higher population or like sprinter zombies because they will find you but if you're just like trying to just like get all the zombies to you when we're to kill you it's fine uh short-sighted i've heard it's pretty good i've heard people quite like this one but i've never personally used it because i don't like the idea of uh having to sacrifice wearing a gas mask or something for glasses and it's like the short or cone of vision is kind of like my worst nightmare because i always lose runs to being bit on like the hand or the forearm but yeah, we'll put this at a decent, because I've never seen a run bad about it. Cowardly. People think it's three points, but once you realize what panic really does to your character, which is minus 40% melee, melee damage and minus 60% gun damage, I've just never touched it after that. Weak stomach, three points, same with prone to illness, and same with conspicuous. Hearty appetite. Um, it really depends once again but I've never used it again um, the thing is it's like it, it's really where you spawn if you choose to spawn somewhere like West Point you might be fine but if you spawn like Moldra and like you're stuck in the middle of it it's just houses you run out of food very quickly but it's manageable I'd say um, agoraphobia the same reason as cowardly you're gonna be fighting the zombies constantly outside so don't touch it now claustrophobia it's I've never really used it but no, like having to use sleeping tablets to sleep doesn't seem like that bad. But the panic indoors might be bad for like the Louisville Mall, or if you go somewhere like Rosewood Police Station, or just anywhere inside with loot, which is pretty much anywhere with loot has to be inside really. Especially the uh, the Louisville military base checkpoint before you enter. But I'd consider it pacifist. Never used it. Minus twenty percent XP gains and all physical. Like, spear, sharp, blunt, long, blunt, stuff like that. Things in that nature. Uh, I'll give it a meh, because I've never used it once again. Like, I always just have, like, a select few traits. Unlucky. It's manageable, because lucky does nothing. I guess unlucky won't do much either. Smoker. Until they add the lung tumor up there, it's three points. Fear of blood. See, I thought it would invoke panic when I first got this. But the issue is it doesn't invoke panic, it invokes stress. Which when paired with smoker, makes it really unbearable to manage. Because the only way of getting rid of stress as smoker is through smoking. And usually anyway it's like that. Because smoking removes stress value. Just straight stress. But books and stuff to calm you down is only like a percentage reduction to stress reduction. It's not just flat value. So I put it at... I put it at just meh alongside pacifist. Disorganized. My opinion, I, I am an actual scrounge. I am a pack rat. I am a. I am the, the. What's it called? The pack mule, yeah. I need as much space as possible. Hard of hearing. Sometimes I watch YouTube videos while I play, so I'll put this at decent. High thirst. Consider it. What, depending on where you spawn, once again. It, it's a lot harder for me to pick traits like that because of. I use pillows random spawns, so sometimes I spawn in the middle of nowhere and I just dehydrate to death. Uh, I think this is Sleepyhead, hell no. This is Restless Sleeper, also hell no. Both of which just ruin your day cycle, give you less time to be awake. Uh, slow Healer. Slow Healer is, um, once again, a bit opinion based, but I think it's three points. If you're gonna get bit, then you, you're bit already, and just don't get hit. Pretty much every time you get hit, just assume it's a bite anyway, so it's fine. Slow Learner. Unless if you're going really, really long-term run, 
which makes me think maybe put it in there because you can get multipliers and stuff. Just put it in, just don't ever think about it. Weak, um, I'd put it in decent. I've never used it, it's not my kind of trait. Same with unfit. Actually, I don't know which one's unfit and which one's asthmatic. So this is asthmatic, I'm putting it in meh. This is unfit then, I'd put it in decent. Actually no, I'd put it in meh too, because minus two to fitness. Obese, minus one strength. Or minus two strength, I can't remember which one. No, this is overweight, this is minus one strength. Uh, it's the complete opposite of how I like to go. I like to eat all the perishable food as fast as possible, so I gain weight, so I usually pick underweight. Um, I'd put it in decent. Very underweight. I don't know, this is just regular underweight right now. I'd put that in consider. I usually pick it, but some people don't like to play like that. Uh, thin skinned. I'd put that in three points alongside slow healing. Practically the same thing, except this one gives you eight and this one gives you six. And you can pick both at the same time. Three 14 points right there. Very underweight. It's manageable, but due to a... Uh, they have secondary things like this. Uh, overweight makes you harder to vault over fences and stuff. This makes you uh, run out of stamina faster, and I think it makes you trip more often. Illiterate. Unless if you're going really long term run once again and you don't need multipliers, just don't even think about it really. Also, if you go on one of those runs where it's like, I killed every enemy in Louisville, here's how it went, you probably don't need to read books to train aiming. Uh, feeble. Once again, if you're going for a very long term run, it's fine, but no thanks. This isn't even a trait you can pick at the start, but this is this is called emaciated. This is when you reach under 60 kilograms. Um, I wouldn't ever think about even getting that close. Obese. Um, plus 12 points to minus 3 strength, I think. And then just like severe loss. But you also don't have to eat, like the whole thing is just not eating as much and sleeping early. Which really helps the days go by, but sometimes you want to be productive on your first few days while the zombie population is going up instead of peaking. So, I'd put it in decent. Uh, I think this one's like very unfit, I forgot its name. Um, I'd put it in the same spot as Feeble because of its thing. And Death. Unless if you're like watching a video essay and you're playing ultra casually. Or like you want to do a challenge run, don't pick it, but because I do listen to videos, I've picked it a few times. I'm putting it in D for meh. And that is the negative traits tier list completed, so I'll go on to the positive traits now. Okay, Speed Demon. It, it, I'd consider it. It's a, it's a considerable trait, it's, it's useful, but it does make your reversing very, very loud, so keep that in mind. It also burns from fuel consumption just a little bit faster, which might be bad. Outdoorsman, you must have it, especially if you pair it with the previous negative traits that I put in S, such as uh, weak stomach and prone to illness. This completely counters it entirely. The only thing that can get you sick when you have this trait is if you sit in the storm for like a hundred days, or if you get bit, and when you get bit, it's over anyway. Uh, dexterous, people, people glaze this a lot. People really do oversell dexterous. It can come in clutch when like, oh, you're reaching to your car to get a shotgun out while you're being jumped. But at that point, it's like, you're going to clutch up anyway. You either die or clutch, and I don't think the extra 20% like thingy speed, the uh, transfer speed, is going to do much. So I, I don't really like it. I'll put it in meh. Wakeful. I think it's the best trait in the game. Very, very cheap. Very, very powerful. Just not only does it make you sleep less, but it makes you tired less, so you can have longer days and less time sleeping. Fast read up, waste. Unless if you're on a multiplayer server, waste. Just just get slow read and speed up the time. Cat size, recommend it. I do recommend it. It is it is a very useful trip. It helps you see in the dark, obviously. But it does deactivate after a certain point. After 5:30, it deactivates and you have to sit in darkness for a little bit. Uh, Iron gut, never used it. I actually forgot this was even a real icon from how much times I pick weak stone before looking at my positives. Same with resilient. It costs double. No, it costs one more. Uh, Iron got costs one more than prone to illness, so it's, I mean, uh, weak stone, so that's bad. Angler, never used it, but I'd put it in meh, because it's just plus one to fishing. So a plus one to tailoring. Tailoring one can be very useful, so I'll put it in decent. Uh, cook, just 
You don't need to have high cooking levels. Same with nutritionist. You don't need those. You just, just eat food, man. And like you get you get meat, you put it in the oven or a microwave. It's fine. Lucky. I never ever had an actual good interaction with Lucky, so I'll once again put it in. I'll put it in meh because of the worst. Light appetite. I've never used it once again. I have a very select few traits. Actually, I have used it once or twice. That's a lie. I have a couple hundred hours, so of course I've used it. Um, I'll put it in decent because it's like. I mean, long term, it'll probably be useful when you go like on food shortages, the power goes out, and you have like only perishables really. Uh, graceful, the opposite of clumsy, which I think clumsy is almost three points. I put it in decent. I've used it a few times, but I've never really seen a difference in it. Uh, conspicuous, the visual checks are so often for a zombie that being conspicuous or inconspicuous just doesn't matter. Brave. I use the mod that makes you become desensitized over time, so I've never really picked it, like, naturally. But, I'd say Brave for the 60% panic reduction and, like, near immunity to night terrors. I put it in consider. Sprinter, or Runner, I can't remember, I think it's called Runner. Now, the sprinting, um, multiplier, because all these give multipliers, stuff like Soa and Angler. And cook, they give multipliers to the skill they help. Having a sprinting multiplier is actually pretty good. Uh, gardener, I think, or florist, I don't remember which one, but I've never used it, so you're going in waste. Don't know what you are either, I think you are... I don't know, I actually have no idea which, what one this is, I've never actually looked at it. It's probably got a negative version of it, which I always pick, so I'll put it in meh, just out of pity. Uh, this is... For some reason, this is amateur electricianist or like amateur. No, this is amateur mechanic. I was gonna say, why is it amateur electricianist if it's a welding torch? But the I think it gives you the ability to um do generators off spawn at the manual, which I really I really would want, but I've never actually picked it because I always think I'd get the manual because I'm a bit overconfident. But I'll put that in recommended because that does seem like a good one. Gymnast, nimble multiplier is a, like insane. Uh, I think this is like just baseball player, which is plus one the long blunt, which is okay for the multiplier, I guess. Eagle eye, increased arc of vision. Now, I, I did say sh like short sighted is bad for like the loss, but I think the natural cone is fine, so I wouldn't really pick eagle eyed. Brawler, I think this is long blunt and short blunt. Well, this is just long one. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the same spot, but above. No, I'm not gonna do that because I haven't done it for the last one and that would take a while. Actually, I'll do it at the end. At the end, I'll show. Uh, doctor, or uh, like nurse or something, but those are already job roles, so I don't already know. Uh, first aid multiplier, once again, meh. Fit, just pick fit and stout. Fit and stout are the best ones. Organized, I'm a pack rat. Fast healer, I always pick slow healers, so I'll put it in decent, I guess. It might be useful. Fast learner, really good. Uh, keen hearing, I used to really, really like it, but now I realize it isn't that good, so I just consider it. Uh, former scout, it's it's decent, I guess. Uh, low thirst, I, I've never picked low thirst. Thick skinned, uh, I've never picked thick skinned too, but... I've actually seen people use it and like get bit and just like it turns into a scratch because of thick skinned. So I'd put it in decent. Adrenaline junkie, absolute waste. After a certain point, you don't want panic to benefit you at all. It seems useful, but it doesn't get rid of the debuffs. So the overall is just you get a little less debuffed. Even at maximum panic, it's still just a little less debuffed, which is horrible. Uh, why have I put. Oh no, this is Handyman or something, or Handy, which is like plus two to Carpentry, plus one to Maintenance, I think. So that's... I'd consider that. Hunter, plus one to Aiming and all Trap Knowledge is very good, I'd recommend. And then with Athletic and Strong, I really like Athletic, and I really like Strong, but I feel like Athletic actually might be a bit worse, because Strong lets me carry more and obviously one-tap zombies with most attacks, while Athletic just helps me run further. But usually, 
I like to like just cut corners and hide more than just you know run away entirely because I feel like I can get them less clumped up if I like bait them out eventually. But yeah, that's a uh, that's the positive tier list, and I'll be back with the correct arrangements for how from like the biggest waste to the most must have. I'll be back. I am back and here is the thing sorted from, this is the best and it could possibly even become the bottom of that and this is genuinely the worst because this is emaciated and you can't even pick that as a starting trait and it is minus 4 fitness and just makes you practically get paper cuts by breathing but yeah this is practically so so good it couldn't even be considered a negative trait at this point it's practically it is the epitome of 3 points so yeah, that is how it sorted from potentially could be in the next tier to potentially could be in the lower tier. For here's for negatives and for positives, it is over here. Outdoorsman being the best because for two for two points, keep in mind two points, you get to completely avoid sickness. I have never once ever got an ill trait or a sniffle trait. The only, th the only traits I've ever got is queasy and fever from dying of the zombie infection. Never have I actually got a cold. Anyway, I, uh, I hope my opinion mattered, I guess, is what I'd say for a video like this. And I hope you enjoyed specifically. Specifically you enjoying it more than me because this is just a list and I hope you watched all the way to the end. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you in the next video, which I have planned. This is this is insider info. It's either going to be Spore or Castle Crashers. Keep that in mind. Bazinga.